Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in. So I'm very happy that you know I received you know some of uh, your questions from my previous videos you know on uh, how to make it better as well as to uh, uh, um, you know what other things uh, did I do to test out or rather to bring the best out of Gustav R26. So today I'm going to share with you what I've done to Gustav in uh, previous weeks and uh, pardon me as I am not uh, a pro YouTuber or you know anyone who is um, doing this for a living I'm just doing this for fun so yeah today I'm going to share with you on getting the best out of as well as reading the main issue of Gustav R26 so number one uh, I did change um, so-called the Gustav fuse right so um, for R26 if I'm not wrong, it came with um, um, this transparent um, fuse, so it's uh, two, 2 ampere, and I actually changed it to um, the Gustav fuse uh, 3.16, if 3.15, if not wrong, right? So to be honest with you, I couldn't really tell the difference, right? Uh, any um, changes in terms of uh, better sounding, but however. For the U18 that I have, <clears throat> after the uh, fuel change, I think the sound has become um, wider and more dynamic. So that is actually a, a plus point for it. So as for connection, I did try to use uh, optical, but however, I don't really like the sound from the optical because I to me is it is too warm. Um, however, I like coaxial. Um, it gives uh, the sharpness as well as um, the, 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 the character of the music and of course what I like best is actually the uh, I, I2S right because um, once I use the I2S I will be able to uh, make use or rather utilize the, one of the main features from U18 so there are a total of four modes so they have the good start uh, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3 and, and uh, sorry Go start mode, mode two, mode three, and mode four. So each mode uh, brings a different type of uh, characters to the music. So I'm currently using uh, mode four. And also to continue, uh, what is the main issue with R twenty six? Maybe it's my problem because uh, my equipments are kind of like close to each other and cables all around. So I do have a humming sound from the Gustav R26 right so uh, I'm quite particular about you know humming so I tried stuff like you know the ground box it didn't help I tried the uh, ground wrap it didn't work I tried the uh, Kojo Crystal E it didn't work but however I like Kojo Crystal E because uh, to my surprise it gives uh, when I when I plug this into my uh, preamp uh, it gives uh, the music a new type of characteristics. Um, the vocal is uh, sharper, the sound stage is wider, and the music is more dynamic. So I love this Crojo Crystal E. And of course, I did try the IFI Ground Defender. Uh, it didn't work, but however, uh, I have a solution <laughs> definitely. So, what's the solution? Just give me a second. Yes, this one. IFI Groundhog, right? So it has, um, um, it's actually a, a, a packet with uh, a few cables in it. But the one that actually got rid of the hum is this, right? So this is like um, you, if you have uh, an extra socket, put this in and put this into any of your RCA, or rather put this into the coaxial um, in the connect of R26. Um, the hum will definitely got away it's kind of like powerful so for this box uh, it has um, other stuff like uh, USB it has the um, spade for uh, ground connect as well as the uh, 3.5 inch uh, in the connect and there's another long cable um, that you can actually uh, plug it to your iFi iFi I, I purifier and from there uh, it 
ends with the RCA, you can go into any of your MT RCA in the connect as well. So I hope this video uh, will help you to get rid of um, the humming sound. So thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye.